Apple needs Samsung. Let me put that another way. Apple needs someone to manufacture the OLED screens on its brand new flagship smartphone, the iPhone X. And Samsung, its biggest smartphone competitor, is the only company that can do it. If you're wondering how Samsung's stock price could look like this in a year when the company had to replace, then fully recall, an exploding phone, in a year when its de facto chief executive was sentenced to five years in jail for bribery and embezzlement, this is how. Most people know Samsung as the company that sells them smartphones and TVs, even refrigerators. But the strongest part of its business is actually the components it builds for other companies, namely memory chips and displays, like the OLED display that's going into the iPhone X. In these two key divisions, Samsung has the ability to supply products quickly to meet a gargantuan worldwide demand. The name of the game is market share. They of course supply their own devices with these components, but they want everyone else to turn to them too, and they're investing heavily, almost $19 billion on new plants in the next four years to grab a bigger slice of that pie. In July of this year, Samsung overtook Intel as the world's number one chip maker and their dominance in OLED is even more extreme. As of the beginning of 2017, Samsung had over 90% of the OLED market share, basically a monopoly, which means when demand for OLED grows, like it has with the iPhone, Samsung grows too. Apple, you might guess, hates the situation because Samsung is the only OLED maker in the world who can handle the demand for new iPhones. Samsung gets to set the price. For reference, KGI Securities estimates that Samsung will charge Apple around $120 to $130 for each OLED screen, compared to old LCD screens, which only cost Apple about $45 to $55. And this may be a contributor to the hefty $1,000 price tag on the iPhone X. This sort of thing has to especially irk Tim Cook, Apple's CEO. Cook's expertise is in supply chain, the process of how products get made and distributed to customers. And when he joined Apple in 1998, he was instrumental in overhauling the supply chain and making it the most efficient in the world. One of the ways Apple does this is by outsourcing pretty much all of its production to suppliers, mostly in Asia, who compete for their business. But in the case of OLED screens, Apple has no other choice but to go with Samsung. Apple wanted 80 million OLED screens just for the second half of 2017. No one else can do that. Samsung barely has the capacity, which is one of the reasons why the iPhone X comes out six weeks later than the iPhone 8. In order to bring its OLED costs down, Apple needs for there to be a serious competitor in the space, which is why it's investing $2.7 billion in LG display, basically a massive cash advance for them to build up their capacity. Google has the same idea. It's investing $880 million into LG to break the Samsung monopoly. For the near future though, it doesn't quite matter. Samsung is likely to be the major beneficiary of Apple's OLED needs, at least through 2019, not to mention that they'll also be making a huge number of A-series chips for Apple too. You know, it's one of the strangest relationships in business. Apple and Samsung have been feuding for years, ever since 2010 when Samsung essentially copied the iPhone with their Galaxy S smartphone, the two companies have been locked in a legal war for almost seven years that has cost Samsung $150 million and maybe more. In the end, it seems silly, because Apple is still shelling out millions upon millions to its arch rival for parts, bolstering Samsung's huge profits and its growth. The iPhone X is sort of the perfect symbol for the whole messy relationship, and it captures how the tech business works at the very highest level. It's dysfunctional marriages like this. Apple needs Samsung, yeah, but Samsung is certainly profiting from the business. In other words, these two mega companies really need each other. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. This episode was brought to you by Squarespace. If you want to make a website and you want it to be a really easy process, Squarespace has some beautiful award-winning designer templates to choose from that makes the process so simple. It's got 24-hour customer service, no upgrades, nothing to install, no patches ever. And picking your domain name is really easy. You can start your free trial at squarespace.com. And if you use the offer code NERDWRITER, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.